Good morning. Welcome to Undisputed. I'm Jenny Taft with Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Guys, how we doing? Uh, mm. Pins and needles, but I'm doing okay. Doing okay? <laughs> Uh, I, for one, am eager to talk about Damian Lillard in a few minutes here on the show and some of the rather puzzling things he said about me on Twitter yesterday. But we'll wait on that because first we got to talk about the self-proclaimed king. Right? How about you leave people alone? Yeah. How about that? How about I <laughs> be honest about people like I always am? I like the honesty. And Skip, we are very much looking forward to that response to Damian Lillard. But the Lakers did get it done last night. So let's start there. LeBron and the Lakers finally snapped after their three-game skid with an exciting win over the Nuggets last night. LeBron led the way with 29, but it was Kyle Kuzma who knocked down the game-winning shot with less than a half a second to go. Kuzma finished with 25, and after the game, LeBron said that in order to win a title, Kuzma needs to be their third-best player or second-best player if he or Anthony Davis are having an off night. Shannon, your biggest takeaway from last night, what was it? Uh-oh. For the first time all year, I'm concerned. Mm. Um, let me start with the what's concerning to me. The Nuggets sat their entire starting lineup in the fourth quarter. And those guys went 12 of 18, 67% from the floor, 3 of 3 from the three-point line, and once scored on eight straight possessions they until did. Anthony Davis got a block with 115 left. Mm-hmm. Skip, that's that that's not that's not Dame Lillard and CJ and Melo. That's not Paul George, Kawhi, Sweet Lou Will, and Trez. Yep. Those are backups. Those are the Nuggets backup. Yep. And you couldn't get stops. Skip, at one point it looked like Keystone Cobbs. They were backdooring them. And then the, and then Kuz and, and LeBron and, and, and AD, they looking at each other. Dion what is like, I thought you no you. I thought what? And it's in the basket. Mm -hmm. That was very, very disappointing because I think at the end of the day, yes, I, I know that I'm glad to see they got their offense going, yep. but you're going to have to get stops down the stretch. Mm -hmm. And that's what's the most important thing. Can you get stops when you absolutely need to? Yep. You're down by one or two points. Can you get a stop? And then can you capitalize on that? The mm -hmm. positive things of what I saw, Skip, they finally got their offense going. And AD was extremely aggressive in the first half. He was crashing the boards. He was not selling for three-pointers and 20-foot jump shots. Mm. He was putting the ball on the floor. He was getting to the basket. Misses, he was coming over the top, ramming it home, as you saw it by the last shot at the end of the uh, end of the half. Yep. Um, LeBron started slow but got aggressive in the second quarter. Didn't score his first basket until, what, eight minutes left mm -hmm. in the second quarter. Yep. But he had 12 points, two assists in that quarter. Um, we had a Danny Green signing. You did. Because, Skip, here's the thing with Danny. He's going to have to give us something on the offensive end because he's not the defender that he once was. So if he's not knocking out open open shots and he's not the defender Avery Bradley is, he's not the defender he once was, yep. now he becomes a liability mm -hmm. because they don't have to split space the floor because they don't have to worry about him knocking down shots. Now LeBron has a tougher time. Yep. Now they can bring the double tween team a lot quicker to AD. Yep. So that was that's Skip, I saw some good things. They shot the ball from the three better. Mm -hmm. They shot the ball from the floor better. They finally, the offense finally started looking good. But for a team that was so good defensively during the regular season mm -hmm. and in the first three games, uh, the defensive rating was very high. Yeah. I don't like what I saw the last, and that's puzzling. And so I, I get it. Well, they clinched it. It's hard, Skip. At some point in time, I don't care if you clinched two months ago. Mm. I'm not going to just let you drive by me and put the ball in the basket. My pride won't let me do that. Mm -hmm. So where is the pride? At some point in time, he's like, you know what? Enough is enough. Hold on. That ain't that ain't that ain't Jokic. That's not MJP. Mm -mm. That's who who are you? How'd you get in? Who let mm -hmm. you in the ball game? Yep. So that's what's concerning to me, Skip. I'm glad I saw the offense pick up. I'm glad they shot the ball better from the floor. I'm glad they shot the ball better from the three. They're still missing too many free throws. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Skip. I, I, mm. I'm concerned for the first time this year, Skip. I honestly I can honestly say I'm a little concerned. Hmm. Interesting. So we had yet another bizarre night in the bubble <laughs> because I watched your Lakers play the best offensive game they played in the bubble and by far the worst <laughs> defensive game they played in the bubble. Maybe the worst defensive game they played all, all year. You, you Seriously, right, right. I'm yep. not exaggerating. Yep. Because to amplify your point, the Denver Nuggets backups play the whole fourth quarter, and if I could just detail who those backups are quickly here, we, we've got 
I'm glad you got a sheet because you weren't going to be able to name him by name without it. We got Bates Jopp out of Ohio State, who was a second-round pick. We got P.J. Dozier, who wound up missing the one free throw that might or might not have won the game. Right. I don't know. But he's out of South Carolina, undrafted. We got Monte Morris, the second-round pick out of Iowa State in his second season. By the way, P.J. has bounced around to three teams in three years. Then we have my man, Bol Bol, who... I, I am intrigued by and impressed right. by at seven feet, two inches tall, but he was a second round pick just this year. So he's a rookie right. out of Oregon. Right. And by the way, at Oregon last year, he averaged 21 and 10 and three blocks, but only played nine games and got hurt. Right. Okay. He, he showed me flashes of brilliance last night because at seven, two, he can actually move around. He I mean, can. he's got kind of he guard skills. The floor. No, it's he impressive, can. but he still. Can. If he could ever put just a little bit of meat on that frame, just a little bit, but he's only 20 years old, so he's out there against a man, I mean a man's man in LeBron James, right. and he's going to have some issues right. trying to hold his ground in the paint right. against the starting Lakers. Okay. And then we got uh, our man, uh, Plumley. Plum, Mason Plumley, who's he's bounced around he's a little solid. bit, but he's a solid player out of mm -hmm. Duke. Again, he was a, a late first-round pick. Okay, so that's your, your second five playing against your Lakers. Mm -hmm. So I sit back and I think they'll pull away, they'll pull away, they'll pull away. No, 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 no. And to your point, I'm, I'm looking at what happened in the fourth quarter with these Denver backups and Bates Jopp goes three out of four and Mason Plumley goes three out of four and P.J. Dozier goes three out of four and Monte Morris goes three out of five and Bowl took one shot and missed his one shot. But still... Man, they're, they're lighting it up. They're, they're shooting 67% in the yeah. fourth quarter. And by the way, lest I forget, I don't want to leave this stone unturned, the starters for this game while they played, which is sort of three quarters-ish right, right. for this team, the starters went 24 of 38. That's 63% of the shots the starters made. Yes. So remember, you have Michael Porter Jr. He went six for six. You got Jamal Murray going six for 10. Uh, Millsap went five of seven. Jokic four of seven. So. They're, they're just pouring in buckets from everywhere. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're uncontested buckets where I'm just saying, do you guys want to even play at all? I saw an AD siding in the first half, but I only saw it on offense. Right. And I saw him crash the board at the end of the half. Mm -hmm. So I got that. But then that same guy who had six rebounds at halftime, in the second half, AD had zero rebounds. So his effort flagged. It just dropped. I, I don't know what happened. Right. But he wasn't playing nearly. He went one for four in the second half mm -hmm. from the field. Well, that's like bad AD. Right. So we went from great AD, I'm plugged in, I'm here. What was? What did he post yesterday? I'm, I'm here for you, <laughs> right. dog, right? Yeah. Well, he was there for LeBron in the first half. I'm not so sure he was there for you guys in the second half. But he didn't half. get to the free throw line. Okay, he did. And he made 9 of 12, which is pretty good he missed three like he's been a three free throw making machine so i was surprised i think it's that. contagious i think somebody okay. misses one early and then everybody starts missing okay so the the very good news here is that your team made 14 of 29 three-point shots that's that's a breakthrough yeah. Yeah. right yeah oh yeah and that's contagious enough because i don't think anybody's going to play in this finale yeah whenever it is but but we i've only played wednesday I think, they play I think it's Wednesday, but nobody, I mean, the starters, I doubt, are going to play in that right. game. And certainly LeBron played high minutes last night for a, you know, just a seed game. That's he played what I'm saying. 38, 38 minutes. minutes. Wow. I guess, Yikes. I guess backups. It's the backups. But it, it put Vogel in a bad spot because Mike Malone says, eh, I give up. I'm pulling my starters for the whole fourth quarter. And it put Vogel in a bind because does Vogel respond in kind and say, okay, if you're not going to play yours, I'm not going to play mine. I think his game plan was, his big picture game plan was to let them finish the game, then rest them the rest of the way until the playoffs. Correct. Right. Okay. Yes. All right. So that brings me to the last shot. LeBron James had what I call a rare hot hand from distance, and he heated up through the second half, and he'd made two threes in the fourth quarter. Right. We don't often see that. What did he wind up from, from three? He was five of 11. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty, pretty great. Yes. Yeah. And so we come to the last shot and the game is tied and I'm thinking the, the obvious play here against the backups and bowl bowl is for LeBron just to say give me the ball and get out of my way and I'm going to get to the rim that's that's to me you just need again if he's a little afraid of the free throw line all you have to do in this circumstance is make one out of two free throws right. to win the game right right mm -hmm. just go on bowl bowl and get hacked right 
He'd done it before. He could do it again. Right. So that was the obvious play to call or for LeBron just to call it in the huddle. Just, I got this. Just come and pick for me and, and I will get this finished. Right. I also thought that he was feeling so good. He when he gets that kind of limp wristed, just easy, sweet delivery. Especially from the side of the floor hey. that Kuzma took it on. Because no, that was the side there. that he had gotten hot on. Because he was just shooting it easy yes. and free. Yep. And, and he was swishing him. Yes. And and when he gets in that groove, I thought, okay, well, maybe this is the night. I I'll, I'll give him a break. Just pull up and shoot one. <laughs> what, whatever you want to shoot, shoot it for the win. Okay. And I was stunned that Frank Vogel got away with calling a play for Kyle Kuzma because it felt like LeBron's game to finish because he was really good. Like, no, no, seriously yeah. good on offense. He was very good. Well, I mean, Skip, he had one rebound. Okay. I mean, he, he right. had zero in the first okay. half. In the second half, he had one for the okay. entire game. But I thought, Skip, and to your point, I thought once AD flashed, I said, AD's going to come get the ball. LeBron will go get it right back yeah, if right they'll back. run something. But once I saw him pass the ball to AD, and I'm like, he's not coming to get the ball. He goes through, and I see Kuzma. I'm like, they're running this for Kuz. Curl right off him. Yes. Split right out to the corner. Bobo.